ha has everybody visited this room before, or is this the first time for some of you? So what do you think? It's cozy. It's cool. It's, it, it's kind of awesome and cool. Yeah. I mean, it was a, I, I was in here for a little while before I realized that um, I just thought, it smells like somebody's been smoking in this building. Like, what's, I, and I know that that is completely verboten, right? And then after a while, I thought, no, like, really? And then I understood that Mordecai's books were exhaling. And I thought that, too, is part of the experience. So when you guys think of, of Mordecai Richler, I mean, he's a lot now a larger-than-life literary lion, right? What do, you, what do you think of? What's the iconography that comes to mind? I think of him haunting the city. What were some of his favorite places? Well, I mean, there's uh, there's bars downtown that he yeah. used to like to go to, and uh, and there's what? Grumpy's. Grumpies. Grumpies, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. What what else? What was ubiquitous and which is not permitted nowadays? Smoking. There we go. <laughs> oh, speak. Have a cigar. <laughs> Who'd like a cigar? Look at these. They're genuine. For real. Yeah, Oren. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Okay. Look at look at this. Yeah, <laughs> Jonathan. Are these are these his cigars or were they recently? Well, by the university? not anymore. Cigarillo for the lady. Okay, this one's gonna be mine. <laughs> Anybody else? Come on. Oh well, I won't let mine go to waste. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and um, oh, what else? What goes with a good smoke? What goes with a good cigar? Whiskey. Don't Whiskey. and don't make any scotch. Freudian jokes with scotch. <laughs> oh God, I knew I was forgetting Boundary. something. I just found a secret compartment. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah. goodness. Hey. <laughs> what just happened? I think we're missing something. What about, we've got smoke, we've got drink, what do we? Pool, uh, food. Food. Can we get some lunch in here, please? Are you new? Oh, I am kind of new. I don't, don't drop that. That's got smoked meat on it. Is this what I ordered? <laughs> they're getting younger at Schwartz's all I the time. I there's vegetarians in here. It's looking, uh, it's a very, it's a meatitarian kind of lunch. Who would like a smoked meat? Who would like it to be served to them by, um, <laughs> by a middle-aged Canadian author accompanied by the president of your university? <laughs> Takers? Yeah. Okay. This is the most iconic <laughs> sandwich that this, any of you it, eh? have probably ever eaten. Yeah, this is, is it. This is like this the is iconic sandwich. Who wants yeah. a half? Who wants, Who wants a, a half? full? I'll have a full. There you go. This has never happened before. No. This, this a... will never happen again. Uh, <laughs> you never know. I have actually, we have an emergency. I have Sneaky. actually, I think, have you been a waiter this? before, but this yeah. is something else. I was a waiter once. Now it's actually been touched by Anne Marie's hand. Now it's uh, serious. <laughs> you're, they're doing this with finesse before. now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I this is great. Yeah. Maybe we should uh, pass the mustard around. <laughs> <laughs> mustard? You want everything. Oh, there is mustard. Man, there is. Look at there's pickles. Wow. Yeah. See, we are talking yeah. about writing. <laughs> Just don't smoke the pickle and eat the cigar. <laughs> <laughs> coleslaw is from another era. Yeah. Now, would you ever serve coleslaw at your house? Yeah. Well, aren't we having that when I come over for dinner? You are not. We're not, not having coleslaw. I, I was asked if I had dietary restrictions, and I said, I can eat anything said, as long as it's accompanied by a said, side of slaw. <laughs> 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 I'm sure. <laughs> oh, no. So, for the re let the record show this is life, or at least lunch, in the ivory tower. This is it. <laughs> Mark, yeah, this is it. I don't okay, think it gets better run. than this. Thank you this so much, Professor Shepard. Good to see everybody. Wow, I can't believe this. Okay, you can't clap because you have smoked meat in your hand, but happy I'm going to thank you so much. Good to see you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck on the wrapping up the tour. Thanks. Okay, now um, do we get to break out the booze. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is um, this I found on Mordecai's desk. It says, "Do everything with love," mm -hmm. and I think that is something that is very easy to dismiss as a hallmark sentiment, but I actually think it's the most radical thing you can possibly do. Because if you didn't love writing and art and literature, why would you find yourselves in this room? Why? would you spend a particle of your time and energy on it, right? Because it takes all the love you can possibly give it. Love, in, not, in, not in a cozy, always cozy and reassuring sense, but in a sense of an ex a thoroughgoing and deep commitment. Would anyone like some Macallan? We shall now raise a toast mindfully, as all these powerful substances should be imbibed mindfully. It's getting distinctly religious in here. 
Mm -hmm. it. Can you feel it? Well. Okay, so we have to have a toast. I, yeah, I mean, obviously, right? Um, well, I think we have to toast Mordecai Richler, and I think we have to toast the spirit of, uh, of perseverance and love and rage and creativity and all the things that go into uh, following our, our vision. And uh, I'm so lucky and I feel so grateful to be surrounded by some of Mordecai's books, his effects, and uh, the heirs to his legacy. We should never forget it. It's so incredibly rich and uh, we are all part of it. So let's take a moment to honor that right now. L'chaim. Yeah. And up your kilt. <laughs>